Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're up 2.5% on the one-hour chart. We start to see a convergence in play, and we saw a nice reversal over the weekend. On the four-hour chart, we now approach to positive MACD, and if we extend that further to the daily chart, we're also approaching to positive MACD. And at the moment, we may encounter resistance that was made back in February 19th, as well as in March 10th. And in April 4th, we may encounter that resistance level of around a price of $1.90. And as for support, if we do manage to reverse and head down lower, the next support that I see was made where we were back in March 23rd, as well as April 2nd, and in April 15th, around a price of $1.61. And if we were to reverse and head up higher, that price movement is roughly around 6% to the next resistance. And if we do fall lower and head back to previous support, that price movement is roughly around 10% to the downside. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model. As we progress to the seventh day, we have a 30% chance for natural gas to climb higher between zero to 7.5%. On the other hand, we have a 30% chance for natural gas to fall between zero and negative 7%. And on the extreme case, we have a 30% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 7.5 to negative 15%, and a 10% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 15% to negative 23%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend on the line graph, and overlapping it is the trend that I believe is the best match, and this trend dates back to August 8th, 2011 to November 1st, 2011. And below is the trend, is the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. So let's compare the two trends. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, we touched the upper Bollinger Band twice, and then we proceeded to touch the bottom Bollinger Band once more, and then reverse to touch the upper bowl in Japan. On the trend in question, we start to see a similar pattern here as well. Touch the bottom bowl in Japan, and then touch the upper bowl in Japan twice, and then once more touch the bottom bowl in Japan and reverse to head higher to touch the upper bowl in Japan. And one thing to note, the similar similarities aren't identical. In this case, we do touch the bottom bowl in Japan as in this case we did not so do keep that in mind so what we have is one two three four five points we also have one two three four five points so there's a reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same so the model that we just examined was august 8th 2011 to november 1st 2011 back then natural gas was down around four percent so let's head back to the day-by-day -day probability model that coincides with this standard deviation of 30% between 0 and negative 7.5%. So let's examine the technical performance of each model. On the current trend, we're currently down negative 13% from monthly high, up 13% from monthly low, up 2.7% from 10 simple moving average, up 4.8% from 20 simple moving average, and down 72 basis points from 50 simple moving average. And the trend that we just examined was August 28, 2011 to November 1st, 2011. That was down roughly 20% from monthly high, up 2% from monthly up low, and down 1% from 10 simple moving average, and down 1% from 20 simple moving average, and down 6.6% from 50 simple moving average. The te technical differences are in the 10 simple moving average down 1% and another 1% on 50, 20 moving average compared to that to up 4.8% up and 2.7 up. And another technical difference is we're much higher from monthly low compared to that to the trend in question. It was only up 1.5% from monthly low. 
So again, these models are now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.